Israel, and thank you so very much for being here at my live stream on YouTube. I go live every Monday at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, unless I'm on vacation or something else comes up, but generally I'm live or I have a premiere video that you can come and watch. If you're watching this as a replay after the live stream has ended and you're on a computer, you can look for the little gear at the bottom of the screen and change the speed. If you're on a mobile device, generally the little three little dots at the top, you can use those to change the playback speed to get through a little faster because generally my live streams last around two to two and a half hours. I want to thank Robin for being my ad moderator and administrator and note taker throughout the live stream. She is generally my one uh, right hand woman, if you will, and I am so thankful to have her. She also is an administrator of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Occasionally, if she's not available, one of the other administrators will come over and help me or a friend will help me moderate the video today. If you have questions, please feel free to put those in all caps and I'll do my best to answer those questions. If I don't see it, please ask again. Or if you know the answer to somebody's question, please answer it. Hey, if you have a YouTube channel, please feel free to share with us by saying, hey, I have a YouTube channel and this is what I do on it. You won't be able to share a link, but you can at least talk about your YouTube channel. Let's keep the chat upbeat, friendly, and helpful. If you are having a great day, let us know. But honestly, we don't want the negative what is going on in the world right now because we are here to escape that, to be inspired, to be friendly, and have some fun. During the live stream, you have an opportunity to earn junk bucks. You can type exclamation point bucks to see how many that you have once Junkie Joe is up, because this is preliminary and I've pre-recorded this. Once you have 2,000 junk bucks, you can redeem those by typing a ward and you can get a $10 off coupon to my shop. How do you earn junk bucks? Just by being here, chatting with us. So make sure that you speak up in the chat so that Junkie Joe registers that you're here and by playing the in chat games and then also whenever you make donations. Occasionally I have raffles. In fact, right now there should be Junkie Joe coming up. You can type exclamation point raffle just as that says and you can enter the raffle to win 200 junk bucks. If you make a donation during my live stream, do go over to my website at lindaisrael.com. You can see the name scrolling across the bottom here and create a user user account. Once you've created a user account on my website, make sure that you use the contact me form and say, hey, my name is on YouTube and I donated. And then I can get you added to the YouTube donator membership on my website. What does that do? Well, a member of my website in the YouTube donator membership gets 5% off orders in my shop, gets several digital downloads for free, and during the live stream, when you donate, you get a chance to win the journal that I raffle off at the very end. Throughout the live stream, I will have different raffles giving away prizes. If you will type exclamation point raffle when you see those come up, then you can have a chance to win those items. We're going to get started here in just a moment. Thank you so much for being here today. When the video is over, come back and leave a comment. Tell me what you liked about today's video, or if you have questions and you're watching this as a replay, use that comment section down below. Also look in the description box to links to the Friendly Junk Journal paper, People Facebook group, as well as by Linda Israel, my Instagram, Twitter, my website, and generally I try to update the products that I use and those links are in the description box as well. All right, well, let's get started.
Okay, I think I got it. Are you there? Do you see me? <laughs> Am I in frame? <laughs> I've been on vacation. You know, you got to relearn everything. <laughs> How is everybody? I hope you're well. If you haven't already joined the raffle, please do so now. <clears throat> I'm so grateful to have each and every one of you here. Hey, if you haven't already shared this video, please do. And if you haven't given a thumbs up as well as make sure that you've subscribed to my channel. All right. So last week I recorded making an accordion fold journal because the week prior to that, I showed making different mixed media pages that were direct to paper. So instead of using like a gel press or other tool, we went directly onto that paper. And these are some of the prints that we made. I have been on vacation, so I have not gotten the digital files edited. I did get some of them. I'm trying to get my pile here. turned into digital images so I can print them out so you can kind of see it. They are larger than the originals because I blew up the pages. They were on average about almost five and three quarters by nine inches, something like that sheet of book page that I printed or painted with my stencils and then I got a few of them turned but I haven't got them grouped into files and uploaded because it takes so much time to get those files ready. It's funny to me people are like I want to sell digital files it's so easy and I'm like no it isn't you have to sit down and you got to create the file you got to make sure that you've got all the things in the file when they download it you got to create the product so it's not that easy. <laughs> Oh, good. Thank you, Nadine. I'm glad you love that video. All right. So here's what I counted up. There are 10 surfaces and I'll show you so you understand. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then flip this over. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we'll come back to the beginning again. So I know that I need to embellish 10 sides, if you will, including the front and the back cover. I have some acrylic paint here. I was thinking about kind of touching up the edges and I think I'm going to change my mind. I was going to use gold paint, but I think I'm going to use a blue. I don't know. This color may be too bright. But I also have this color, which I used in the making. So let's do that. And I need a way to put it on there. I don't want to get it all over my hands. So I'm going to grab my little mixed media tool here. And I want to make sure I put some water, because that looks old. Dump that out. Put some water in my little vessel. I, I found a long time ago that if I put a small glass jar or container inside of another container, I had less spills <laughs> on my desk. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting that there so I'll be able to clean this little dauber off when I'm done. And I think what I want to do is, I think, let me get a little palette or something. Well, I thought, oh, there it is. It was hiding. I got a little palette here, so I'm going to put a little bit of this teal. And I know this is a different color, but I think what I want to do is kind of mix it. And that's more than plenty than I need. So what I'm going to do is kind of grab this. So we're doing some more mixed media. So kind of give it a little blended color. And what I want to do is just kind of go over this edge. Kind of like it's um, Distress Ink, but instead I'm going to use the paint. Can you see that? Oh, I think I'm just going to kind of open the accordion fold up. I'm doing it because I want to finish these edges, and I thought maybe the paint would give it a little bit better look, if you will. All right, so I've done this side, so I'm going to kind of flip it and do this side. 
I don't need a whole lot of paint, so I put way more than I needed. So maybe we'll use it for something else here in a minute. All right, so since I do have kind of a boo-boo here, I'm just going to kind of give it a little bit more ink or paint. All right, I did get some on my hand, so I'm going to clean my hand off. <laughs> Yes, I my trash can, because I uh, have usually paper in it, and since it's just a little bit of water, I just dump it in my trash can. Now, if it was a full cup of dirty water, I would take it outside and dump it. I don't dump it down my sink because that acrylic paints can get into the drinking water, so it's just better to go outside and dump it. All right, so I got one side. I'm just kind of going back over it, and I did down the edges. So I'm going to use my heat tool just a moment to kind of do that. <clears throat> thank you, Robin. Thank you, Nadine, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are y'all doing? Y'all doing good? I hope you're well. I had a great vacation slash birthday celebration. Henry kind of surprised me. We knew about it for a couple of months, but as a surprise to me, he booked a cruise for our my vacation or my birthday. I can't get my words out. And we got to go to um, the Florida Keys and the Bahamas. So we went to Nassau and Freeport. Bahamas. And then Carnival has a private island. And so we got to go see that. It was a, a fun trip. We, we enjoyed it. Hello, Morgan. So glad to have you here. Oh, thank you so much, Robin. That's okay. I understand. Hey, Morgan. Uh, so we had a great trip. Um, we started with getting on the ship on Saturday and then our cruise begins and the first port of call that we stopped was in the Florida Keys. I had never been. Henry said he had been but it was a long long time ago. Um, I think that's what he said but anyhow um, we kind of got off the ship. We, we didn't have a plan per se. Our idea was that since it was the keys we would walk around a little bit on the island and we would key west we went to key west um we would walk around for a little bit see what we see and then maybe find a place the local place if you will to eat um and then go back to the ship so that was kind of our plan so we started walking around and it's hot oh my gosh don't go to the Keys or the Bahamas in August unless you really like the heat. <laughs> it was very, very hot. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. So we're melting, walking around, and we kind of did a wrong turn. And we end up at the uh, little White House. Uh, all of a sudden, the president who stayed in that White House, escapes me. If you Google uh, Florida Key West presidential little White House, you'll know who I'm talking about. Well, we stumbled across it, and we decided to go ahead and take a tour. The tour is expensive. Oh, my gosh. It was uh, like $24.99 per person to go through this house that this president was... Uh, recommended to get to a warmer climate due to his heart condition. Thank you, Morgan. Maidine says, been there, done that. Um, hello, Janice. And so uh, he bought this place by a recommendation of somebody else and loved it so much that it just kind of became their true vacation home that he tried to spend as much time as he could there. Uh, so it was really neat to see this little house and walk around it and hear a little bit of the history of it. That was one thing we did while we were in uh, the Keys. 
I have a lot of paint here left over, so I'm going to grab some, oh, let's just, let's grab a piece of cardstock or something. I don't know. I've got some pre-cut things. I hate to waste that, so I think I'm just going to grab a book page. I've got a large book page here. Someone had asked me uh, what I used as my surface whenever I was doing my mixed media stuff. So I'm going to get one of those. I have a crafter's mat by Ranger Inc. I, I think I may have a link in the this deal, Robin. I don't know. Um, I think they're handy because I've got a great big one and I've got this one and I've got a couple more because it's coated. So there are some Teflon sheets out there that you can get that aren't ranger ink but this one is teflon coated so you don't have any seepage through it i bought some other um different kind of uh what do you call this craft sheet it was supposed to be for using for heat press and i thought it said it was coated and it was not and so I put it down on my work surface. Basically, I have a space that's about four inches wide at the bottom here that you don't see that is exposed if I am working on mixed media. My mat doesn't come all the way down. So I put these extras up there and it ended up leaking through and it was a big mess. All right, so I'm just kind of adding the color that was on my palette and painting the page you know maybe I'll use this as a, a background or I could use it as some additional writing space just kind of playing around with cleaning off my palette Oh, I did do my nails. I've already got my hands dirty, but I did do my nails and I used a uh, foil on my nails. I'm getting better at creating. I think it's going to take me some time, but I'm, I'm getting better. All right. So I'm going to clean this off. I've got a, uh, I'm going to grab a paper towel first because there's paint on the side. Kind of daub that off a little bit. Cleaning off. All right, so now I'm just going to set this aside. And I've got an old towel here. Hey, Margie, thank you so much. No, it's not wax paper. I, I don't know if, if... No, Ranger's Crafter Mat. Okay. Or Craft Mat. I'll, uh, I'll grab a link off of Amazon if you want to purchase from Amazon, and I will post that if you uh, are interested, because it helps me if you purchase through my link. All right, so that was just a craft mat, so I'm going to put this back over here. I'm trying to get better at putting things away. That's a little bit damp, so I think I can just lay it to the side. We'll use that later. Who knows? All right, so our accordion fold base has been made. I touched up the edges with a little bit of acrylic paint. I need to clean my hands off. With a little bit of acrylic paint, okay? You don't have to do that. I just did it because I thought it would help, I don't know, give it a distinct border. Another thing you could do is stitch with your sewing machine if you wanted. Uh, through all thicknesses across the top and the bottom and maybe even stitch where each page would be and I mean by you would stitch around this little square here and then you would come in and stitch around in here maybe just stitch all the way across the top and then go on either side so then it would uh, show up you could also use stamps so I kind of grabbed through my stash here a few things that I had already made um, some ideas that I wanted to share. So I thought what we'd do is kind of decorate this. All right, so we went to the presidential house in uh, Miami, or not Miami, and the Florida Keys. We really enjoyed that. Um, 
was hot, 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 hot. And we go ahead and walk around the main thoroughfare, if you will, after the walk through the museum house. And we eat at Lucy's. I think it's what's called Lucy's. And Henry had the retired surfer burger, something like that. It was a hamburger. And I had a tuna steak sandwich, but I didn't eat the bread because the bread was just a plain hamburger bun. Henry got a really fancy like onion special bun and I got a plain hamburger bun. So I just peeled it off and just ate the tuna by itself and it was pretty good. All right. So we've got eight surfaces in here that we need to decorate. So I kind of looked around at things that I already had and I was trying to figure out how I could add some writing space into this journal um, and embellish it just a little bit. So I thought to start off with, I took a piece of one of the direct to papers that I had scanned in and printed. This is just on text weight paper, so it's not super heavy. I cut it down to fit. Now my journal is eight and a half ish maybe a little bit less, eight and a half inches tall. And each panel or page is six inches about. It's not perfect, wide, okay? So I'm just gonna add some distress inks on this outside edge. And then for the inside, I'm trying to decide if I wanted to reinforce this or just leave it as it is, because it is text weight. I've done this on a couple other, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as it is. All right, so I got this piece. So here was my idea, and I've shared this idea before, so let me find my pieces of paper. Here's one, is that just one? All right, come on. Oh, here we go, I got some more. Always cut strips of book pages so I have them, I try to have them handy. All right, so here's my idea. I've got some magnets and I still have a bunch of these little bitty magnets. I also purchased some bigger ones, but I think I'm gonna stick with these smaller ones just because I'm trying to get rid of them. And here's my idea. I wanna glue this to where it is on the page and this piece, I want to have magnets so it'll stay closed. And then this piece will be on top. It's something I made a long time ago. So yes, it does kind of cover up my print, but we get this really cool effect. And then there's going to be a pocket back here. This will be a belly band and we'll have writing space in the middle. That was my thought, okay? So set this aside. What I want to do is place some magnets along the edge here. So I'm just kind of lining this up just a little bit and I'll grab my glue. Now I want the magnets to be in just a little bit because when I place this on top of it, I will need to put another piece of paper right behind there. So I think what I'm gonna do is this. I'm going to get my pencil out, kind of look at this, and slide this over just a little bit. Then I'm going to line it up, and I think I'll put one right there, and we'll put one right there, and we'll put one right there. So my thought is, if I did this right, I may need to push it in just a little bit further. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go to this side later in a moment to put magnets down. All right, so I'm gonna put a dot of glue here. I'm using the beacon glue to help hold the magnet in place because it's metal and a lot of times glues are difficult to stick. So I'm just gonna use that, yeah. You like that pencil? <laughs> well, and it won't roll off. It's from Canvas uh, 
court brands. It won't roll because it's an odd shape. Okay, so now I'm going to put one like that. I'm going to use my finger. I need one more. Okay. Oh, stick. All right, so I went just inside those little dots, all right? What I need to do next is cut this piece to be smaller than what's going in here. And I need to cover, so I'm gonna cut this a little bit shorter because I don't need it to go all the way to the edge. I just need it to cover those magnets. So I'm gonna take some glue, try not to do this on top of it. Okay, I'm gonna put some glue on this leading edge. A little zigzag down the middle. And I'm gonna to try to put this piece of paper to where it is on the other side of those dots, but it's covering the magnets. I'm really pressing around there. Okay, so now I'm gonna just flip this over. This is gonna be my back. So what I'm gonna do is feel where the magnets are and get the right glue. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to, to lose this one, that's for sure. All right, put glue where the magnets are that you can feel through your page. Okay. And grab three more magnets. And I found that if I just kind of let it fall, it falls right where it needs to because the other magnet's already there. So there we go. Now I'll close this up. And I know I've shown this a couple of times here recently. I just thought it's just a fun way to add a closure to hold something in your journal. Um, so you can have a lot of fun with it. Oh, yay, Robin. Hey, Sally. Robin's got her a junk bucks coming into a coupon code. All right, so I'm just going to go down this piece with a little bit of glue and glue that on top. So we went from uh, the Florida Keys, Key West, and the next day, I believe we were in Freeport. Yeah, that's right, Freeport, Mah Bahamas. And Henry and I decided that when we get off the ship, we'll figure, we'll just figure something out. He said, well, how about if we, we go to the Garden of the Grove, which is a an old garden that's in Bahamas. And so we went out looking for a taxi and found out that the taxi was going to be rather expensive. But we started talking to her. The distance from the pier for that place was quite far. And so she was trying to figure out, I need more fares so I make enough money because it costs of gas. And we we're like, we understand. We can wait. And... And then we started talking to her and she said, unless you want to hire me for the day. So we decided to hire her as our taxi driver for the day. Now she did take a couple of fares in the middle when she would drop us off somewhere. And we were okay with that because we had her card. If we needed her, we could have a local help text or call her. Uh, so she took us around and we went to the gardens. The gardens were old and a little bit overgrown but they were still pretty it was hot again it was so hot um we walked around the gardens and they have waterfalls that we could see they have a um what is that called all of a sudden the maze on the ground that you walk around there's a specific name see i'm losing my mind today uh they have one of those little mazes that you could look at Labyrinth. I found it. The word labyrinth. They had a labyrinth that you could look at <laughs> and walk around. Um, what else did we see? They had the waterfalls kind of went into a pond, which were full of fish. I've got to get my um, 
photos uploaded to Facebook so I can share them all with y'all. <laughs> um, I didn't do a whole lot of photos, but I did at the garden because I thought it was kind of neat. I'm using the Fabri-Tac if it'll come out of the bottle, which I guess it has a big goopy on it. Um, because I've got acrylic paint, it's kind of a glossy paint on here. And sometimes it needs help with adhesion. And I think I'm about due to get rid of this bottle. Almost. But we, we saw some interesting plants um, and spent, oh, about 45 minutes to an hour there. We were pretty much done because it was so hot. And we went out and just so happened there was a tour bus that was also at the gardens the same time we were and we got out of the garden and started walking towards our taxi lady and the tour bus was starting to load up and we were like okay hurry so we can get away from them <laughs> and then she took us to a, a shopping area where we could get conch fritters i had never had conch fritters so we had some conch fritters while we were in the Bahamas. They were pretty, pretty good. They're, they're not my favorite, but they were good. You know, I, if I uh, were to be out again, I probably wouldn't order them again because I've had them. I would probably order something else that I like better, but if they were free and handed to me, I'd probably eat one. All right. So that is a little thing that I made by putting this little mixed media piece on front. So it's kind of like a belly band and we've got this area inside. So let's decorate this, even though I've got magnets on here, I think we can still decorate it. Uh, so we did get some conch fritters. Henry didn't like them at all. He, I think he ate one, <laughs> maybe. And I think I ate three, four. I don't know. We had two left over that we ended up giving to our driver because we knew she liked them. So it was like, well, I hate to throw them away, but if you'll eat them, I'll give them to you. She goes, oh, yes, I would love that. Thank you. So <laughs> uh, then she took us. Where did we go? Oh, we went to um, a little stand that had frozen pina coladas. Oh, my gosh. They were amazing because he took a coconut and fresh pineapple and blended it up right in front of you. It wasn't some canned mixed stuff. It was really good. We enjoyed that. Then she took us to the brewery and we bought one of their local beers. I, we just bought one because Henry and I really aren't big drinkers. You know, when I said a pina colada, we got one pina colada and shared it between us because we don't really drink alcohol that much, but we'll sometimes do a, like a pina colada. Um, so we got one beer and we were like, okay, that's not bad. It's it's different, you know, what how they make theirs in the Bahamas. Um, I had it. I probably couldn't tell the difference between it and another beer side by side. <laughs> I think it kind of reminded me of a Heineken type beer. All right, so I put a little bit of Distress Oxide Mermaid Lagoon on there using this little blending brush. And I think I want... A little bit of pink. So I'm going to pick picked raspberry and find my pink. Where is it? Pink, pink. Just add a little bit more. Just trying to decide do I want to make sure it's still lined up or maybe make it off a little bit? We'll line it up. Oh, that gives it a nice color. I'm not being super heavy handing. I'm using the August stencil from the Ozic stencil cup. You love those fruiters? Yum, yum. They were, they were good. They tasted good. It's just not our favorite flavor, if you will. <laughs> so then we had our beer and then she took us back to the pier and we got on the ship. <laughs> that was, that was the day we were tired because it had been hot. So we showered and got back on board. I'm trying to remember there was one of those nights, the early nights, we decided to eat at the steakhouse on the ship. 
So this is a pay restaurant. If you've never cruised, there are opportunities that you can eat at the free restaurants on the ship, or you can pay for one of the specialty restaurants. So we decided to pay and check it out to see if it was something that we would like. And we enjoyed it. It was really good. I had a lobster for dinner. All right. So I want a little bit of an embellishment on here. And while I was on the cruise, I was playing a little bit with some watercolor paints. These are from Jane Davaport. I gave Robin the link. Yeah, they pretty much take them to the same sites. They know, you know, the local place because there's only 75,000 people that live on the Freeport, Nassau Island. So they pretty much know everybody and then they know the hot spots. Oh, they did take us to a beach. We didn't go out to the water because we weren't really into that for the day because it was so hot and we would rather have been on a beach where we could have shade and, and stay for a couple of hours. So she took us to a beach that we walked around and we're like, okay, we've seen the beach, you know, we've been to other beaches. So we were like, this is okay. So it was kind of fun, you know, uh, to see that place as well. Then on Wednesday, which was my birthday, we went to the private island that Carnival has. We did not book an excursion or anything for the day. Henry did try to book a uh, it's not a cabana. It's like this half shell lounger. So it has a little bit of shade because I burned so easily, but they were all booked up. So we got off the ship, walked around the little area, sat down for a minute in the shade of a restaurant that was a pay restaurant and decided, you know what? I, this is too hot and there's no place. The beach was full. It was packed of people. And I was like, I don't want to be all around those people. I don't want to be out in the sun that long. Let's just go back to the ship. So we went back to the ship and we uh, walked around and I think we ate lunch and we got ready for dinner early. <laughs> all right. So I've got some uh, watercolors. I know I digress. And I've got this is what I took with me. I had this paper and you probably can't see it, but it has, it's watercolor, but it has like wrinkles in it. And so I was going to use it for journaling, but it was just too bumpy on the back. So I thought what I would do is show y'all how to embellish this with watercolors. And I've already lost my template. There it is. I took a book page and I put some packing tape over both sides just so I could have a little template and I used a square punch. Now you could use a different shape punch. You could um, make your own or you can just be pretty good at placing your water on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm laying this down with a little bit of a border because I plan to tear the edges and I want enough space all the way around that I'm able to do that. I've got a Oh, three quarters of an inch wide paint brush. And I have just plain water. It may be a little dirty, but it's plain, <laughs> nothing in it. And what I want to do is just quickly go over this because it is watercolor paper. That's why I put the tape on there. You'll have a little square and I know that may be hard to see. So let me zoom in. Zoom computer. All right. So you can barely see the water. I'm going to try something to see if it helps with the washout look here. Not really, but there it is. Okay. So then I have a water brush. I like these water brushes. So what I was doing, let me get the, turn this. Okay. So this is my square. And I should have got this ready first, but I didn't. I grabbed a little bit of the color and I've got a little palette place here. And then I came in here and just started adding it. And what I could also do is line this back up so I know where my line is. And then I'm going to grab another color. All right, so that kind of gets my foundation. And I'm just lightly adding a little bit of color 
in a square. So this is another mixed media idea, if you will. Okay. So just kind of added, just flashing out on me. I can't quite get it to focus. All right. So I'm going to clean off my brush and put this to the side. I'll use my heat tool on here to dry it. Woohoo! Margie got some junk books. <laughs> Quick before it soaks in. Exactly. You got to be fast. Uh oh, thank you, Cricket. Thank you. Thank you. So get your own computer. <laughs> he missed you. All right. So there it is. Okay. I really wish that coloring was a little better. I wonder if I can fix it. Um, workspace. Color. Can I get that to show up? Can you see that? Because it's really much brighter than that. See if that makes a difference. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Okay, is that better? Okay. So I've got a little bit of a square going on there. And then I thought, well, what if I grab a rubber stamp? And I thought, well, maybe, let's see. I've got these little birds. These are from the... Uh, Birds Life Cube that I would stamp in here. Let me get my block. Okay, I got my little block. I'm going to put that on here. The reason why I dried it with my heat tool is so that the ink will soak into that paper. If it's wet, it won't soak in. Okay, you, it looks good. Okay, thank you. I like the water brush better than a uh, real paintbrush for doing this also for using watercolor pencils all right so i'm just using archival ink jet black and i'm going to stamp that right in the middle of that square there we go and look at there we just kind of made a little spot all right so i'm gonna put my stamp back where it belongs Back where you belong. I gotta put my scissors up. I found a pair of my scissors the other day. I was looking for something else and I opened a drawer and was really digging around in one of my drawers over here to the side. And I found a pair of scissors and I was like, oh, that's where that went. Okay. I've got a mess going on over here. Oh, here we go. All right, so then I'm going to take and tear this. Okay. And then just come around this side. Okay. Does that look cool? All right, so then let's go back out so you can see what I'm doing. And then I've got some Distress Ink Walnut Stain. And I'm just going to come in here. Add a little bit of distress ink to it. And I thought it might look kind of neat, but I don't want it too close to the magnet. So what do I want to do? Maybe I'll put it right here. So when you open this up, you'll see it. Yeah, I think I don't want it. I think right there, but I want to put something behind it just a little bit. Uh, and we also have some words here. So maybe we could find some of these uh, little phrases that would go with that stamp in the background. I've got the French correspondence stamp. All right. So I'm just kind of just add a little texture that behind it. Maybe right there. Yeah, that'll work. Put my stamps back where they belong. Okay. I kind of like that. I'm going to glue this one down. So just grab my glue. Keep my little frame over here to the side. All 
It's a fun way to use up some watercolor paper and make some little embellishments. Okay, how about, um, I've got Choose Joy. Maybe we need something behind it. Um, let's see what I've got here. I picked up some scraps earlier. Let's see if I've got a scrap in here that would work. A little pink piece. It's a little bit with a pattern on it. I think I've got these. So let's see if one of those would work. Maybe if I did this piece. I don't know. I kind of, I like that, I think. I think what I want to do is trim it to be just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to grab my scissors and we'll glue it down and then we'll trim it. Yeah, get your stamps out and see how it goes. Isn't it fun? Like, looks like a window scene. Yeah, there you go, Julie. Yeah, I, you can, you don't have to have square stamps because that was just watercolor. Um, I'll show you another one that I made here in just a moment. I was going to use it on the other side, but I decided with the magnet closure that it would get in the way. So maybe we'll use it, I know, on the journal card that I'm going to put in here. All right, so I like that. Do I want to put it down low? Let's add some distress inks to the edge. So I just trimmed that a little bit smaller. My computer wants me to do an update. I think like that. So I'll just glue this down. But look at your stamps because here's some others that I made. So this is from that same stamp set that says birds with that. And then this one is from the bird. Oh, I got I to gotta get it out so I can tell you all their names. Bird house cube. That's this little flourished bird. And then I also got out the dragonfly number two and made a couple. I took these with me on the cruise and like, here's one that I color, but I haven't stamped on yet. And then I also made some smaller ones and I used the dainty flower cube, get those out here, to make a few little embellishments. So I thought, well, I'll just lay those out here. And as we need them, I'll have them. Like here's one in a blue. I did kind of play and did a strip just to see what it would look like. I don't know. It was just playing around. Um, here's one that's just like making little dots and mixing colors. So it's a good way to just play and not really focus too much about what you're doing. Just doodle and see what you come up with. All right. So I thought I had a journal card here just a moment ago. And it's already got lonely and left. Okay, where did it go? Focus. Let's move this up out of the way. All right, here's another. It's not with the stamp. It should be easy to see. It's brown. <laughs> it should not be hiding from me. Seriously, where did it go? What did you do with my piece of paper, y'all? Really? Okay, let's just take a moment. I already had one pre-cut. There it is. Found it. Okay. Pre-cut journal card that's going in here. As long as I didn't glue this shut. Almost did. So it's going. Oh, it already has something on it. Well, good. That was easy. Okay. So that'll go on top of there. Well, that'll be good. All right. So getting my journal page out, that was a lot of trouble for that one little page, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. So there is where I want to, 
to go and I think I want it to be a pocket so I'm going to put a bead of glue down here and this way I didn't want every page to be super matchy matchy so put that like this Okay, I like that. So now this piece will go here. Okay. And then this opens. Well, first you've got to make sure that the glue is dry before you try to pick it up, Linda. This opens. So we have writing space here and we have writing space here. What? Yeah, I lose things all the time. <laughs> you use my paper, Sheila. Gosh. Yeah, it's just a watercolor square, Naomi. That's all it is. I just kind of did a watercolor little block. And then I just stamped on top of it. You could doodle. If, you, if you're comfortable with your drawing skills, you could doodle over those. But... I just thought it was kind of fun. I made them in different sizes that I thought I could use. And then I was just taking a moment to rip them apart and then adding the distress to them and then stamping on them. So just simple, super, super duper simple. Okay. We got this piece, which should now be adhered shut. I didn't put a tab on here, if you will. Do I need one? Probably. So, what if, what kind of a tab could I put on here? I think that won't work. I've got another piece of this green paper. So, what if I made a little, oh, I know what I need. I need my punch. Let's do one of these and I've got some painted paper. I've also got this paper that we painted earlier. Do we want that color? I think so. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it so that the words aren't straight across this way. They're going up and down. And I found that if I take my acrylic block and lay that over the top, and then stand up and punch. I get a little better punching. Punching it, man! Alright, we put, put this back where it belongs, Linda. So I can find it. Okay. Put the pencil up where it belongs so I can find it. Alright, so I got this little piece. Let's add some distress inks to it. And we'll add that in here and then that will give us that little tab that we can use to open our little hidden journal spot okay close that so i'm going to put some glue in here okay and i want to slip this where it's somewhat in the middle and then I'll hold this up and flip it over how's that so now we have this little tab that you can use to open that and you don't see it because you think oh well that's all there is but there's a little bit of tab but there's also a pocket back there so let's get another journal card or something. I think maybe we could get away with a booklet. Let's see if I've got some paper that we can turn into a booklet. You know, I've been trying to use scrapbook paper like crazy. So let's grab a scrapbook piece of paper of some kind. Um, I think maybe this one might work. Let's see if I can get it out. This one's called uh, Country Road. I think I will tear that. Mm -hmm. 
I know that Robin prefers a thicker paper. So I think what I'm going to do is fold this. No, I don't want it. I want it to be the right height. I think I'm going to glue this to another piece of paper. Maybe this on the back side. No, I don't want something dark. I want something light that we can write over. Maybe like that. You can write over that one and it just be a little bit heavier, I guess. So what I'm going to do is glue these together back to back. And then I'll cut it and I'll have kind of a little two-sided piece. All right, I've got my bone folder already out. I'm gonna look at this again. I want it to go in this corner. Come on. So line it up with the edge. It's easier to line up two edges and then cut it. <laughs> so I'm just kind of push that glue out to the edge with my bone folder. I missed this one, so I'm just gonna do it again. All right, so now I need to trim it. So I'm getting my ruler because I know I didn't put the uh, gussets in here. So if I made this seven inches tall by four and a half inches, that will stick out just a little bit. So that would be nine inches, right? So what was my numbers again? I think I want to cut this way first. Making scraps now that we can use somewhere else. All right, so I need to make this, how tall did I say? Seven inches? So I'm just gonna make this seven inches tall. Okay. And I'm going to make it nine inches wide, okay? And again, I made some scraps, but that's okay. But now we've got this little piece. Okay. And I think what I want to do is fold it in half. Just crease it just a little bit. And then let's go around the edges with some distress ink and possibly let's round the corners. I haven't swapped out my new corner rounder. I've been using my old broken one, but thank you Morgan for sending me one. I greatly appreciate it for my birthday. I'm going to go ahead and do all the corners. All right. So now I'm just going to take my distress ink and go around the edge. Okay. Thank you, Cricket, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yes, your package got there. Yay! All right, it's all time for the raffle. I'm going to go ahead and do the inside. Okay. My, I have things everywhere, too. All right, is there anything I need to miss? <laughs> Okay, we got this piece. I think we could get away with the flowers coming from the top, making that the front cover. What do you think? I think so. And we could use maybe a little, um, the little birdie embellishment on top of here. What do you think? Or would the dragonfly be better. I think the dragonfly might be a little bit better. It's not as bright on this side. And we need a sentiment, don't we? Do I want to put it to where, hmm, maybe like that? I did follow your soul. We need a little back paper for that. So how about if we did, oh, I've got this pink here. Let's do this one. This was cut off of the P 
piece that I used to uh, make our pocket page. All right, like that. So I'm going to glue this down. Yeah, thank you so very much. Oh, no, that's terrible. I'm sorry you lost it. Oh, that's sad. Oh, I'll have to see what's inside of it. Well, you know, you got to be um, clever in your description of items that you ship. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Yes, or they would not let them ship. Yes, you have to make sure that they say, you know, scrapbook paper supplies or <laughs> something to that effect, or they won't take it. Okay, I think I like that. It's a little bit of fun there. Oh, no, I've been lost without it. All right, let's put this right here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, trying to try to get things organized can be rather daunting. I'll show you something that I started doing. Y'all get in the raffle. I started buying these little envelopes. I found them on Amazon. I don't think I put the link out there yet, but I found these little envelopes and they are approximately seven and a half by five and a half. And what I started doing was kind of sorting some of my things. Like this is all the word diary and these are all punched shapes. And then what else do I have here? These are some seven gypsies cards, just ready-made cards. And my plan is to put some labels on the top of these so that when I look at, I'll show you my basket. I found this basket at the dollar store, but my idea was, I'll show it up this way so you can see it, um, that I would have the, I can't get my words out, description on top of here of what they were. And as you can see, I've got my um, little books that I've made as well in there. And I'm trying to rearrange that a little better so that I can find some of the things that I use or things I need to use up. I'm just trying to see if there was something else I could get out. All right. So I did that and I haven't put anything on the inside. So what if we put that right there? Another one of those watercolor pieces. All right, y'all into the raffle? Um, I don't know if they are or not. I, I, uh, I'll have to uh, look. I know I saved that a while back, but I can't remember. Let me see. I'll just, we'll just, we'll just look because I got them on Amazon. Y'all into the raffle if you haven't already. And we'll go here and we'll go, they were envelopes. I also bought some bigger ones. I'll show you the bigger ones too. Yeah, here's the small five by seven plastic envelope text. Come on, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Hello. I said, hello, hello lady. Okay, these are the five by oops by seven that's the five by seven and i'll we'll add that later robin uh and then here is a bigger one these are the a4 size and i started using these um to hold kind of like projects so i'll these are the a4 size. Okay.
Yeah, the 12 by 2 clear places from Hobby Lobby. There's, you know, there's all kinds of ways to store things. Just find what works best for you. All right, so here we've got follow your soul. Um, follow your soul. Yeah, destiny is calling. I think I'll put it here across the top. Maybe. I don't know. I changed my mind. I think I want it overlapping just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Clear business envelopes. Yep, yep. I am uh, got, a, I do have a bunch of videos. Oh yeah, this is what I'm doing with some of my envelopes. I put my rubber stamps in them so then they don't catch on things. And then this is like some of Norella's uh, digital, so I just put them all in here so I have them together. All right, let's do the raffle. Um, what am I going to do for a prize today? Let's see what I have. What is this? Oh, yeah. So she gave me a bunch of these, so we'll pass those along. I'll even pass along the little envelope. Okay, perfect. All right. All right, so let's pick the winner of 200 junk bucks, and that winner is Julie Parker. Congratulations, Julie. You get 200 junk bucks. Woo, woo. All right, let's reset this, and we're going to go um, journal cards from Lori. Ah. There we go. Open giveaway. All right. So Lori Merchant a while back sent me, uh, she said she was sometimes collaging calms me. I got really carried away and made 36 journal cards. Thought perhaps you could use for yourself and as giveaway. So here are some journal cards that she made. There are some hearts. Oh, that one's stuck together. She's got lace and book pages, so the back sides may have writing space or they have coloring book page. You could also glue another piece of paper if you want more writing space on there. And then she sent this in this two-sided kind of uh, orangey red and green, so I'll put those together. All right, so you all enter the raffle. All right, so we got this here, got this here. Wow, we've not got much done, have we? All right, let's get busy, Linda. So this is going to go behind and kind of stick out just a little bit right there. So we've got this journal card and then we have a little tab that we can open this up and then behind here we have a little journaling spot that we can use. How's that? You like it? Okay. Yeah, DVD cases are great. Uh, you will be a prize, Margie. What would they do with you, Margie? <laughs> what would they do with you? All right, so we've got something over here. So let's figure out what we can put on this side. Mm -hmm. I have some... Oh, well, this was something that I started. So it's got a... Uh, blank journal card here and a blank journal card there and then I made this so it has a flap and then this opens up and I started decorating a piece of cardstock I think it had a print on it so I just put a book page on there and there's really not anything inside here so let's decorate these and what we'll do is we'll glue that down and it'll be a pocket so we can put a journal card in it so let's do that yeah some some of them can be too big for dvd cases uh, that's why i like these envelopes and of course i know that you're being in australia it may be harder to get them all right i think i want to use this guy on this piece maybe 
I've got um, that kind of go. Maybe a darker piece. These are just where I cleaned off my brayer. I think that's what I'll do is just kind of rip this like so. So then let's see, uh, I told you about the beach. We decided to just go back on board. So the last cruise stop before, of course, we get off the ship was in Nassau, Bahamas. And Henry, because we got off and went to the beach and turned back around, decided to book an excursion for Nassau so that when we got off the ship, we got onto another little boat and it took us to a kind of a private beach, if you will. So that's what we did on Thursday. I kind of like that. Maybe I don't want it quite in the center. I kind of like that, but I think I want something in the background. So what can I put? Let's put, um, let's put some distress ink on here. I've got dusty Concord here. So let me get my purple, purple. So it's not so stark white or ivory in this case. So in Nassau, we got off the ship and they got us onto a smaller boat that took us to kind of a private island, if you will. I'm trying to see if I want to put that right in the middle. I think I want to stamp around the edges. And on the way to that private beach island area, we got to glide by Eddie Murphy's private island. It was just kind of neat. So it was kind of neat to see, you, know, you kind of see his property a little bit from far away. We didn't get up real close. So if you know Eddie Murphy, you might have recognized that he had a place out in the Bahamas. The beach we went to was pretty. The water was pretty. It was hot. Um, I did bring sunscreen and I put sunscreen on myself. And Henry, I thought, had put sunscreen on. I didn't force him to. So Henry got very burnt on his whole chest and tops of his legs. I got burnt on my shoulders on both sides, even though I kept putting sunscreen on. So next time I have to remember to wear my swim shirt when I go into the water again. I'm trying to decide if I want to change this because of the fact... I got a smaller one. I think I like this better. Just something a little bit smaller. And then let me find a smaller. Always dream big. Maybe something like that. I could find something else, but I think I think I like this one. You know, I can change my mind. It's my prerogative. What else? Oh no, quit buying those paper pads, April. <laughs> yeah, he got burnt really bad and he was in a lot of pain. And I swore that I had some uh, aftercare sunburn type product and I couldn't find it. So we bought some, we had to pay $16 on the ship. Oh my gosh, for a bottle that's, you know, probably not even worth five bucks, but we did get some. And then when we got back to the room and I kept digging around, I found a Ziploc baggie that had an aloe vera spray in it, which was good that I did because Henry was having an allergic reaction to the one we bought. It was burning even worse after he would apply it. So we found the spray in my stuff and it was, uh, a lot better for him. <laughs> I think I like that. Just kind of a little collage. So thankfully I, I had that. I just got to make sure that when we go again on our cruise that I make sure to bring the aftercare along with the sunscreen.
I think I need something else right there. So, oh, let's look here. Do I have something? Um, those all fell out, so I need to fix it. Maybe like a, a butter. Oh, see, here's another one of those little envelopes. A butterfly or a dragonfly, maybe. Do I want, no, that doesn't go. I've got a pink butterfly here. So what if we were to put a little butterfly in there? I could put a bigger one, but I think that's the one I want. I have a dragonfly that I fussy cut out. Okay, the dragonfly wins. The dragonfly wins today. I gotta fussy cut some more of these out. Ah, go back in the baggie. You keep your aloe vera in the fridge, yeah. <laughs> Just stop it, April. Just stop it. Quit buying it. All right, I think I like that. I had to quit. I have so much, April. I have so much that was given to me, so much that I have purchased. I went over to some friends of a friend house and I bought all of hers once. Um, another lady, her mom was a craft product hoarder and she moved out of her house and left behind a bunch of stuff. And I took almost all the scrapbook paper. Okay, that looks good in there, right? And then this piece is going to go in here. So now we need to decorate this guy with something so that it goes right there. And it kind of covers up. Okay, and then this piece is going in here. So what if... I don't want that because it sticks out too far. I don't like that. I was trying to figure out if I saw something that would go. I could put that in the middle. I kind of like that. All right, so let's do this. Let's stamp or something right across the top here. <laughs> what stamp do I want to use? Ah, here we go. I've got the little music sheet music stamp. So we'll stamp that on here. So yes, it was a nice vacation. We had a good time. Oh yeah, Noma Noma uh, uh Noxima. Yeah, got enough scraps of oh no, you don't want scraps of scrapbook paper. Ah, gotcha. Well, that's good that you have a supportive husband. You know, there's a lot of people that don't. So, yay that you have got a good supportive husband. I do too. All right, I think that's what I want to do is put that right there. So I'm just going to glue this down. Like so. I'm going to have to pick up the space if I'm going to get this done. He buys the storage containers. <laughs> Can never have enough paper. Okay, I like that. Just kind of simple little look. All right, so that's what we can put. Oh, how about this? I've just got a little piece of scrapbook paper or the mixed media paper. So I'm going to line it up with the edge and just put some glue on it. And glue this down. So I'll kind of stick this leading edge in the glue and then just line it up. And then we'll trim it. I'll just trim the, the corners are already rounded, so I'm just rounding it with it. Kind of sliding that over to the edge. And we'll just go ahead and come in here with some distress ink. All right, so then this piece will go in here. So it's just something I was working on a while ago. And I think I will glue this down. 
So now it has that mixed media feel to it. And, you know, I like to make my pockets very functional. So I've got a little scrap of paper here. So I'm going to come down the side and line this up with the edge. But come in about half an inch and trim that off. I haven't been to a craft show either. <laughs> Bad for the bank account. Great for your impulse buys. <laughs> okay, there we go. I don't know what paperific is. Shopping in dollars. I try to be very frugal with my shopping these days. I got these uh, Davenport watercolors, I don't know, two years ago, I think now. I've got three sets of them. I haven't even used them all. Just kind of been playing with them here and there. And I thought, well, I'll take them with me on the cruise. And I just kind of sat and was listening to uh, some live music while I colored watercolor paper. All right, so I'm just going to cut this at an angle here. All right, and then let that dry. That's going to be a pocket there. So while that's drying, I made a journal card earlier. Let me find it. So again, here's what I did was I had a base card and I had a scrap of one of these painted pages that I cut to fit, but I wanted something metallic in there. And so what I did was I have a metallic stays on gold. So it comes with the ink because it dries out. So you keep this piece, do not throw this away. You squirt this on and it comes with a little tool that you can kind of smooth it out and then you can stamp with it. And then you have to dry it with a heat tool. So that's what I did in the background. And I think that would be a good journal card to put right in there. So I'm gonna fold this up. All right. Yeah, a lot of places have has closed down. A lot of places have closed down because they couldn't survive COVID. Um, that was another thing that was very evident on our cruise that there were a lot of businesses that closed in these tourist towns because they had to go do something. In fact, the taxi driver that we had for the day, she came to the United States for six, seven months during COVID and stayed and worked with her sister who has a nursing home in Kansas because there was no work where they live because the Bahamas, their main industry is tourism. They don't have, you know, an industrial type thing that they use and make and create and then sh import exports that kind of stuff all right so that goes there and then i had where did oh it's laying right here i couldn't see it <laughs> so this guy's gonna go in here like that so we got some dragonflies and butterflies going on all right, we got um, two out of 10 done. We better hurry. <laughs> All right, so let's see what else I have. Oh, okay, yeah. Here's another little thing that I made. It's a book page and there's a magnet uh, in this piece of fabric and then there's a magnet here. You can probably see the bump and this 
closes like that and I thought it would look kind of neat on one of the pages and it could also be a belly band on here so I'm going to glue it across the top and the bottom and then just place that in there just something a little bit different well, this is from Tim Holtz and this is from my bloom I can't remember what I put on that cube but if you type bloom cube you might find that rubber stamp all right so I'm just gonna put that as a belly band from top to bottom which is a nice contrast because of this color in the background don't you think okay Just keep practicing. Yep. I didn't see what April said, so let me scroll back up. Oh, tiny furniture. Okay. Well, you know, do do what you love. It doesn't really matter. All right. So this, I think that'll fit. Maybe. Let's see. I gotta wait for it to dry okay that might fit so this is another little scrapbook piece that I made kind of like a trifold this is one of Norella's images and I've got some cheesecloth and the word journal so we'll put that over here it's gonna go behind this so we're gonna call that side done ah so this is something really simple this is a paper sack and what I did was, let me find my ruler because it's laying here, is I cut it to be approximately nine and a quarter inches, okay, by about five inches. And then I scored at about, oh, almost three and a half, partly because it's kind of where the gusset of the side of the paper sack was already folded. And then I made this portion about four and a half and then this piece is about oh almost one and a half inches so you fold this up and you fold that down and then I rubber stamped over it this is one of Norella's pieces I think it's either from the kit that was a freebie inside the friendly junk journal people Facebook group or it's one of my um, artistic artful kit and then I made a little tag so here's the deal this little tag kind of fits in here and that keeps that flap closed so that when you take it out you have writing space so I was gonna put it I think I'll put it kind of in the middle because of it opening up and I'm gonna glue it so it can be a pocket so let's put some glue down the sides and the bottom So we'll make a pocket. Very eclectic today. All right, we're going to put it somewhat in the middle, right about there. Press that into place. This piece is going to go here. I have a journal card that I already made a while back. It was made up during one of the live streams. This was, or not a live stream, this was a strips I took strips of book pages that were leftovers and we painted them I stamped on them I made little strips and cut them apart and then I stamped some little journal cards so I thought that would be pretty to go behind there so we're just gonna set that and I think I want something here how about aspire to be amazing right there in the center okay did Margie win again? Oh my gosh, Margie. Are we going to have to ban you from playing? <laughs> uh, no more winning for you, Margie. <laughs> uh, stuff that needs to be assembled. Yeah. I feel like Ikea. All right. That's going to go right there. Oh, that looks good. And then this one's going to go over here it's kind of a hidden spot but we'll put it like that so you can kind of see it I'm liking it all right and this is going to be my front cover I haven't decided what I want to put on the front yet I do have this little envelope 
maybe we'll find a couple of little images that we can put together. I've got a spire. I got an envelope, a, a pocket we could put right on the front. And I don't know. I think aspire to be amazing is what we already did over here. So let's see what else I have. I've moved some things right before I left on vacation and yeah, I don't know what I did with all of it. <laughs> so let me see, where did I put, oh, here we go, maybe. I don't have my sewing machine out, so I'm not doing a lot of sewing, but I do have, I have some of these images from Norella. Maybe this blue one would be better. Let's see what else I have in here. I do have a corner piece we might use on a page. Maybe we'll do something like that. Okay, so I've got this piece. What else do I have that could go? Yep, there's not much in there, but I do have this piece. It's just a piece of a uh, magazine. Maybe something like that. I kind of like it. Let's see what we have in here. I'm just kind of playing around with stuff. Uh, journal what is this to do list this is a tiny the tiny journal stamp is that too small it may be kind of small maybe you need a bigger one you like that blue one in the background this one here all right let's see what else do i have do i want to put pink Mm -hmm. I'll set that aside. We'll put that somewhere else. We could do another little watercolor here in the corner. How's that? Oh, thank you so much, Janice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When it goes on a walkabout, is it going on a walkabout? That's, what that is that? That's a terrible English accent. <laughs> Crikey. Crikey. I'm, I'm going back to my days of listening to Steve Irwin. <laughs> Alright, you like that? What do you think? Kind of a little... I could do a different one up here. Or maybe the dragonfly. No, I think I think I kind of like that. This is gonna be my front cover. I think I like that. You like it? Oh, it's, well, Julie, you make painty papers all the time, so just pull them out. Okay, so I'm gonna glue down this piece over here, and then kind of glue everything on top. This was just a book page, book page from a gardening book. So we'll just kind of glue this one down. And I see a little tiny piece of cheesecloth, Robin's favorite. She didn't steal my cheesecloth, y'all, when she was here. Yeah, just have a paint day. Just sit down and paint and paint and paint to your heart's content. Okay, I like that. All right, so I'm going to put this piece right about there. Um, I think I'll glue it so that it can be a tuck spot here. So we'll glue it across this corner and this corner. And this will kind of help anchor it just a little bit at the bottom. So we'll put glue here and here like that. Okay, come on, glue, go back together. 
And we'll put this right about in here. Yay, cheesecloth. Thank you, Nadine. Thank you, thank you. This is one of Norella's little um, flashcards. That's what I want to call them. And then I have a little piece of cheesecloth that I thought if I can get a hold of this, it would look kind of neat. Right about there. So I'll put down a little bit of glue and put this over the top of it. And then we'll glue this piece and that'll help hold that cheesecloth into place. This is the tiny little journal quartet. Little journal quartet. Well then let's put uh, that kind of going across the corner. I'm going to leave that up upper area open because I am going to use this as a tuck spot if we want. Okay. And then this piece will glue right down here in the corner. And we'll go here and here. Kind of come down that side just a little bit. Oh, you know what? I just kind of made that another pocket. I don't know if I have anything small enough. Let's see. Let's see if I have something that'll fit. I was grabbing a few things that I thought would work. Ugh. Ugh. Come on, glue down. What did I do with it? I had a little thing. Oh, that might be kind of cute. It's just a little envelope that I thought might fit in there. Got to make sure we got some glue on here. Okay, that's going. And then I have this um, bling. I think I'm going to put some bling on here. It was a leftover piece. Robin's all about the bling, I know. All right, so I'm going to kind of get this ready. Run it right about here. Okay. All right, now cooperate. It's much easier if you kind of just take your time and let it come free and curl this around. Come on, coax it into place. I did read a little bit uh, while I was on the cruise. I don't know, some stupid series of about a girl that is a time traveler and a shape shifter. And it's always drama, but it's not full of like, you know, sex and drugs and whatnot. I kind of like that. What do you think? Just so many things. All right, we need a little something we can tuck in here, right? I've got this is a bird is never afraid of the branch breaking. She trusts not in the branch, but in her own wings. And so this is my little uh, berry and leaves. And then this is the little uh, bird silhouettes cube. And then that is a bird. I think if you look that up, you'll see it. Let's just put that right in there. So it just kind of peeks out just a little bit. I don't know if this is too big. This is just some tear off notepad paper. I think what I want to do is I want to cut just a little bit off that bottom, just so it's a little bit shorter. Not much, just, just a tiny, tiny bit. Get it straight. Nope, didn't get it all, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. There we go. It's one of the little tear off notepads. Journal, create. What do you think? What else do we need? Is that good? I think we're good. All right, let's do like this. Glue some glitter on the cheesecloth. <laughs> all right, I think. I like this little apothecary garden, I think is from Norella. So let's just glue that down. 
as a pocket. And I'm going to have to hurry. I got an hour left to finish embellishing this journal. Okay, so what did we do over here? This side, that's the back cover. So I haven't decided what I want to put on there yet. Okay, we got this guy. All right, so this one, I think it's far enough away from that aspire to be amazing that it could be a pocket here. So let me get my strips of paper. And glue those down. Plus, a Halloween type thing, I simply don't like. Oh, you don't like the ha Well, see, I don't use it for Halloween, per se. I mean, I have, but I think it just is just an interesting texture. All right, so we got that piece going that way. Oh, better trim it some more. And I'm going to go this way. So I need some journal cards or something to put in the pockets. Maybe another little folio type thing that can be used for writing space. Put this one here. Okay. Trim that off and then trim the corners. Okay. So this piece is going to go here. I kind of like this piece. So let's find a large journal card, which I think I saw some up here. Actually, this is just some cardstock that's kind of brown. So I think I can get away with cutting this down to be, what is this? This is uh, five and a half inches. So let's do it by seven and a half inches because you know five by seven so seven and a half by five and a half so if we had this on here would that work it's really close but i think i think it would work all right so let's figure out what we can put on here as i round the corners she'll be coming around the corner when she comes She'll be driving 18 white horses when she comes. I don't remember what it is. Ah, the mum, the mummy. It's a mummy Halloween product. Gotcha. It's just you. All right. Let's add some distressings on this. More shabby chic looking. Hang on to them and, and <laughs> on the line to dry. Okay, let's see. All right. Regular acrylics, cheap acrylics. We all have our favorites, don't we? All right, so let's see. I've got another piece of this kind of um, book page. I think it needs something else in that background. So I'm going to set this over here. I could do another book page. I've got one here that I started messing around with earlier. So what would happen it may not be enough. Let's see. Just cutting off the excess white. And if I make this five inches by whatever the height is, which is pretty short, so it may not look very good. We'll see what we can do here. Thank you, Naomi, for your donation. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, Cricket. Thank you, Margie. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Nadine. 
What do you think? Something like that? I kind of like that. All right, let's add some color to this piece. Let me get some tattered angels out. I've got a dark blue, a really dark purple. Let's use this kind of a the deep from under the sea collection. Dry it just a little bit. All right. Oh, <laughs> there's a couple of my Facebook friends that are already decorating for Halloween. They've been scoping out things on the marketplace. She's been showing us pictures of all the things she's putting together. I mean, she's going to have an elaborate setup for Halloween. All right. So I just added a little bit of distress inks or Tattered Angels, now I'm going to add some Distress Inks. Okay, we're going to put that in here. I'm kind of centering it. I wasn't going to, but now I am. I'm kind of liking that, just a little bit. I think we need some kind of pattern on this piece. So let me get my scrap of paper out again. Let's grab some stamps. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. I don't know, we may use one of those sentiments and oh I think I want a different stamp. You never can find the one you want, right? Ah, here we go. We've got the corner roses. Let's just use that one. I'm trying to see if there was another one I wanted to use, but cut that one out. Okay, we'll just, just in case. All right, so I got corner roses, and I'm going to grab a block. And I think what I want to do is just stamp around the edge. So just enough to kind of give it a little bit of a pattern. Okay. So now when we stick this on here and then like that, we're getting some different textures. All right, let's glue this together. You don't like anything remotely close to any paranormal or creepy stuff. You know, I'm not into the creepy stuff. I enjoy seeing the kids and I like seeing other people decorate for Halloween, but I have no desire to decorate. I think we have one little blow up minion that's supposed to look like a zombie, I think. Maybe a witch. I can't remember. <laughs> um, and that's all we have as far as Halloween decorations are concerned. Bone folder. All right, then we'll put this piece kind of in the center. Yeah, we'll put it in the center. But give me flowers, bees, birds, and butterflies any day. <laughs> Yeah, forget forget Christmas until two weeks before. <laughs> I like to decorate for Christmas. I don't always do that, but I do like to decorate for Christmas sometimes. When we had our insurance agency, I decorated the shop. Okay, I like that. All right, so we're going to put this guy right here. And I want to put a sentiment, so I grabbed, let's see if any, oh, I need to put something heavy on there. Um, no, I don't want these. 
because this one is too big. The most important thing in lives are these. When you move something, of course, going on vacation, I, I haven't looked at this stuff every day, so I don't know where anything is anymore. Paradise. Oh, here we go. How about this? How about Dare to Dream? And I've got some different little papers here. This one's kind of a gray color. Got a block here. Let's stamp that. Mm. Kind of in the away from the edge so I can tear around it. Dare to dream. Put that back over here. And let's tear around it. I had this little pad of paper when I went to Ohio in 20 or 2000. Yeah, 2000. In the year 2000, I went to Cincinnati, Ohio area for art continuum and bought a bunch of papers and whatnot. And this is one of those things that I bought. Okay. Well, thank you, Sherry, for your donation. What do you think? Kind of put that over here to the side so you can kind of see it just a little bit. I'll glue this down. Glue it down. The ink was still wet, so when I put my fingers around it, it kind of smeared, but I kind of like that distressed look. All right, somewhere is the journal. Here we go. So this guy will go in here. Okay, and then this guy is going to go over here. Put this down. Okay. Last summer was wet with floods. So we've had a hot, hot, dry summer this year. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's put that down here. Make sure I'm not getting into my fold. I'm trying to use a variety of different things. Are y'all getting some ideas or just being inspired of ideas of how to create things? Maybe, I hope. I saw another one of those little trifold thingies. But I have a tendency to lose things. We might use that one. I don't know if it'll fit in there. I may have made it too big. Well, that one would work, wouldn't it? And then I have this piece of cardstock that I was just thinking of putting at the back just for some additional writing space. All right, so we need one, two, three. One, two, three, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's add some distress ink and round these corners. Okay, where are we? Yeah, the whole, the, oh, have y'all seen the news about Lake Mead and all the bodies that they're finding in, uh, was that, is that considered Nevada or Arizona? I don't remember, remember what side the lake is considered on, but they keep finding bodies. It's like the water level drops, they find a body. The water level drops, they find a body. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. <laughs> Ah, it's pretty chilly. Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. Get in on the raffle, y'all. All right, I got some distress inks on there. Y'all enter the raffle. If I put this behind here, I've got the word journal on there. 
about never stop. Oh, wait, I've got a uh, to-do list. How about that? We'll put to-do list. And I think I saw another scrap. Let's do that. So I'll put those together. All right, what did I do? There they are. I've got too much on my desk. All right, let's glue this together. And we'll add some distress inks to it. Okay. So if we put that across there. I think it needs a little bit of something else, maybe. So we're going to put some distress inks on this piece. And I'm going to think about what I want to stamp. I already have the corner roses out. Do I want to use it again? Because it's on the opposite page. I guess we could. So that's what we'll do. Is I'll take this and we'll stamp it across the top. There. So that just kind of gives a little pattern. So that when we put this to-do list, it doesn't look so plain in the background. And they're finding bodies in beer keg barrels. Oh my gosh. Yes, bodies. It's crazy. It's a good thing the bayou never goes dry. <laughs> Bonnie, are you trying to tell us something? <laughs> you think bodies in beer kegs beats 20,000 college kids in town drinking beer from kegs. Now that college started today. I, I, I agree. <laughs> okay, I like that. I'm going to put this right here. All right, y'all enter the raffle if you haven't already. I got to think about what I want my prize to be next. We're going to be giving away these little journal cards that Lori Merchant made. Oh, I know what I'll do. Okay, I got something. Okay, y'all enter the raffle if you haven't already. Okay. Oh no, no dinner, no veggies on the dinner plate. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, Cricket, for those kind words. I quite appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, are we ready? I'm trying to decide what I want to put on this page. Oh, I've got this piece that I haven't used yet. Maybe we'll use that on the back cover. I don't know. I've got, um, these are some Tim Holtz. Maybe I'll put something on there. And this is a little, little booklet. I could put it behind there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm trying to figure this out. This is some watercolor paper I was playing with before the live stream, but it doesn't go. <laughs> the coloring doesn't go. So let's see what else I've got here. I've got kind people are my kind of people. Maybe we can make a little something down here. I've got an envelope that I made. If we had a pocket piece, I've got this little mixed media piece here. I could make a pocket. I won't have the sewing machine to stitch around the outside edge though. And I like that look. Hmm. Maybe I won't use that piece. Let's look at my bag of pieces that I had. Nope, not that one. Um, ah, here we go. Some of the original. Or, I think this one would be better to make a pocket to go on that page. I think so. Okay. That'll go there. Got this piece. 
All right, y'all into the raffle? I could trim this, or I could use a square one. Something like that. I'll decorate this, and I'll cut this to be a... Hmm, let's cut it to be a three-inch strip, maybe? Kind of line that up. So if I put that across the bottom there to make a pocket, we can embellish some other stuff on it. Let's see how big it is. All right, y'all in the raffle? I may glue that to another piece of paper just so it's thicker because it's just the book page thickness. And then we'll find a... Uh, I don't know, I'm really into this watercolor thing that I've got going on here. And I've got this little card that we could put in here. Okay, I think I've got a little plan. All right, so let's, uh, you don't know where time, where the time went. Yeah, you got to feed your family, don't you? <laughs> I'm your teenager's guardian. I'm his great aunt. Oh, cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's see who wins the journal cards from Lori Merchant. And that winner is Cricket. Congratulations. I will be mailing out um, Stencil Club and orders. I've got to make some rubber stamps. So those will probably go out till Thursday for the rubber stamps. I'm just kind of projecting that I hope to have that done and then I've got some prizes that I'll be sending out this week as well all right so we're going to reset that and this will be the last free prize so I've got two more of these little folios that I made a long time ago out of some scrapbook paper that say journal so you can tuck those into a journal so we'll give away these two reset clear all right two journal folio insert let's do that let's we'll call them that all right so that will be our next prize all right y'all into the raffle if you haven't already Ta -ta. all right so we're going to decorate this and then we need to figure out what we're going to put on the back cover i've kind of got an idea started over here and i've kind of got an idea here i think i'm going to round these corners and then let's figure out what we want to decorate it with and then we'll glue down this little pocket piece. All right. <laughs> Errands are always funny. You're never... Oh, well, thank you, Cricket. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I want this to come down far enough. This is just a piece of scrapbook paper that I put it... One, put, put it? Put one of the Tim Holtz little embellishments on it. So I'm just going to lay it there and then glue around the sides. Okay. We did go to a couple of shows on the ship. We went to their, um, what was it called? One Night Only. And basically, they just had some a lot of different songs that they shared. It was pretty good. Now, this is a tiny tuck spot right here. Okay, that's wider than that. So, oh, I think I saw a little tag. Where did it go? Here we go. Oh, and I got a, oh, look, this is even better. This is just a little booklet that I made. I used some scrapbook or Norella's papers, uh, book page. These are some of my stenciled pages, mop-up papers. I think it will fit. I think. We'll see. It barely fits, but it's in there. Okay, I like that. So this piece is going to go down here, but I think it needs a little bit of something else or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. 
I think I like that. I'm just going to glue this one down so it can be drying. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to glue that top portion. I gotta wipe the glue off. I looked up oh, and was reading. All right, so I'm just gonna put glue on three si two sides, not three sides, two sides, and glue this down here. I know it, Naomi. You know, I saw pictures the other day that you shared of your son, and I was like, wow, he's grown so much. It's crazy. Oh, thank you, Naomi, for your donation. Oh, thank you so very much. All right, let's put an acrylic block on this piece. All right, so I've got this little guy. So let's put some distress inks on it. And I've changed my mind. This guy is too thick. He's not going to fit. We'll find another spot for him. But that one will fit. Okay, good. We'll find another spot for that. So let's apply some distress inks here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're going to give away this journal at the end. If you want a chance to win it, make a donation. Remember that your donation gets you into the youtube donator membership on my website so if you haven't already gone over to my website please do so and make sure that you create an account and then you say linda i have created an account please get me added my username on youtube is because i donated and i'll get you added and you get some free digital downloads i will have these downloads this week of digital papers that I made from our mixed media play so those will be available to you and you'll also get a discount in my shop you get like five percent off items in my shop and that's a cumulative so that if you have one of my other memberships that gives you a discount these can stack all right so I'm going to put this on top and I think what I'm going to do is leave a little bit of a border so that I can use that to um, make my flaps. All right, so I'm just gonna glue this down, giving a nice generous coating of glue. All right, so I'm just kind of smoothing that out. Okay. I sent it to you, Naomi. You should have got an email from uh, lynda.a.israel at email.gmail.com. But yes. Ah. Well, that's good. So it kind of gets them acclimated into it. All right. So I'm going to cut this even with the top. And then I'll just cut oh, a little bit so I have a little bit of an edge here. Okay. It's okay if it's not perfectly even. It doesn't really matter. You just want a little bit so that we can fold these edges in and have full use of that pocket. I'm, I'm, I know I'm procrastinating because I need to figure out what I want to put on the square journal card. And I thought, well, if I work on this for a moment, <laughs> I'll get inspired for something on that square card. See how that goes? All right, so let's put some Distress ink on these edges. Okay. Oh, good. I'm so glad. That's awesome, Naomi. I know that there's a lot of new things here in the United States to help people with sight impairment. So I'm glad that you guys have that available to you as well. I think more countries 
have better options than we do here in the United States, actually. All right, so I'm going to glue this down. All right, I took out that um, little booklet because it was just too thick in that pocket. And I put a tag, and this was a clothing tag that Henry gave me, and I used one of Norella's images that happened just to fit. The word hope is a stamp, and then, oh, this isn't glued. I must have used um, Aline's tacky glue <laughs> instead of the uh, Fabri-Tac, because it's coming right off. We'll just glue that back down again. So what happens when you have a shiny page? Sometimes things don't stick to it. All right. So that will go in here. This is going on top of here. I'm going to make that a tuck spot. Since it's watercolor paper, it's kind of heavy. So we'll just kind of glue that on two sides, put that down. These are going to go in the pocket there. This was an envelope that I made during one of the live streams. It was had an address on here, so I just covered it up and stamped over it. All right, so we've got this card that I want to put here. Come on now. stick. Put my block on that for a moment. So this card's going to go here. What could I put on there? Uh, I may save that for the front cover. I don't know. And we have this little piece too. Yeah, right, y'all still with me? Okay. Last raffle. I got to hurry and finish this journal. Well, I may change my mind. I found this little piece. If I put that there and put this behind, I could put another tab on here. So let's get my tab punch out. And let's get that paper we used earlier. And we'll punch another piece. So I'm just going to line that up. See if I can do it sitting. Hey, I got it. Sometimes it didn't work because I'm not putting enough pressure. But I'm strong. <laughs> Maybe a little. Okay, so we're just going to fold this in half. All right, and we're going to put some distress ink on there. This way, it'll have blank space to write. All right, I think I'm going to put this over here on this side. But it needs something else across that top section, maybe? Uh, let's see if I've got a little something. Nope, not big enough. Got a book page here. Let's just cut a little strip. So maybe about three quarters of an inch. It'll cut better if it's flat. All right, and if I take this piece and line it up with the top. And cut off this excess over here. Do the same over here. And then if this goes over the top of it, it just kind of gives it a neat little texture. So we'll put some distress inks on there. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> by, by all the kinds. 
Yeah, um, our former neighbor, she moved, her, she and her husband moved to Texas because Oklahoma doesn't have very good schools for those with vision impairment, but Texas does. And she is thriving. They have custody of their granddaughter and she was born legally blind, has to use a cane, and she's got to do so many cool things. They've got her in a horseback riding program. Um, she, I think she sings and she plays the piano. So she is thriving, even though she's blind, you know? All right, so let's put this piece right across here. So it just kind of gives it a neat little look. May we haven't we did go grocery shopping yesterday. We should have. Instead, I spent time washing things and washing the dogs. They uh, had been out in the rain yesterday, and then I started to smell them, and I'm like. Y'all are a little dirty, so we gave them a bath yesterday. I did. I gave them a bath. Henry helped me dry them, and I washed some clothes and washed some blankets. We didn't go anywhere for groceries. All right, so this guy I'm going to put right behind, so we just kind of have this little layered look here. I don't think it needs any other embellishment on there. I think that's just kind of something different for that page, and we've got this side here. We could spend some more time. I think maybe we'll make a, a a small journal card. Let's see if I have one. That's too big. But I've got this one. Let's put it there. And then I've got this one that has color in it to put behind, maybe. I don't know. I'm just trying to get some variety in there. I don't have a sentiment on this side, so maybe we'll grab a sentiment. I try to stamp a bunch of them ahead of time. Okay, here we go. Thoughts. Where'd it go? This is thoughts. Maybe like that. On the corner. I kind of like that. Oh, you, uh, you were to bathe them? Well, we weren't sure how soon it was going to be. We were caught in some really bad traffic for a while, and we thought it was going to take us a lot longer. It did take probably 20 minutes to get through that area, but we didn't make any big stops. We stopped, went to the bathroom, ate once, and got fuel, and just kept getting on the road and coming home. We were, we were ready to come home. <laughs> it was nice to sleep in my own bed last night. All right, so here we are. This is the back cover, okay? Back cover. So I want to put something on here that I can then, it would hold it in place and I can tie it shut. So let me find my ribbon or lace or fabric. What do I want to put on here? It's going to probably be whatever I find because I put some things away and I don't know where it is at the moment. So I'm kind of looking here, see what I've got. I've got this gross, gross grain ribbon. I'm just going to use it. It's here. Grow grain, gross grain, grow grain. How do you say it? How do you say that? Grow grain, gross grain. I guess it depends where you're from. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to take this piece put it on here and I want to oh it may be that I'll just use the piece that's already cut I had the feeling this was something that was given to me and I'm just using up the pieces <laughs> so that worked out I didn't have to cut it so I'm just gonna take this and tie it okay so it's just a loose tie so that it's in place when I adhere other stuff on top of here. Yeah, in theory, maybe. All right, so what do I want? Tell me what you want, what you really, really want, what you want. Uh, 
Um, I was looking to see if there was something else that I wanted to use. I've got, uh, well, that's kind of neat. It's just a little card that I made. And I have this little envelope. I have this little booket, booket which I think could fit behind there. So that might be kind of neat. So we need something to kind of tie this all together. So... What else do I have that would work? Maybe one of the painted papers. What would go? Ooh, this one might go. Or this one. Okay, so do we make a little collage on top of here? I think I like that. I have this gold, but I think I like that dark purple polka dot. Okay. How different countries speak, I don't know what is. <laughs> I hick. Goss grain, apparently the R is silent. Goss grain. Grow grain, Bonnie says. It is kind of funny, grow grain. Everybody says it different. <laughs> Cheerleader ribbon, yeah. <laughs> Can speak hillbilly when I want to. All right, I think what I want to do is cut this to be. What is that? Let's go five and three quarters. And eight and a quarter. I think that's what I want to do. And I may end up gluing that to another piece of paper just to make it thicker because my thought was if I put this on here and we made it thicker, then it could be a pocket that also housed these little pieces on the back cover. What do you think? You like it? We're almost done. 604. Let me get uh, a heavier book page. Let's see if this one is big enough. See if that's big enough. Yep, that'll work. I am going to need some strips of book page. I've got one, so I need another. Let's see if I've got one here I can use. I try to keep all my little scrappies handy so I can use them. Like that one inch. Okay. Hopefully that's enough, but if not, I'll just cut one more. All right, so we've made some writing space. We've made some pockets. I'm going to glue this together, trim it, and then glue this down as a pocket. Get lots and lots of glue. I'm going to get right up to the edge best I can so that when I use my bone folder which is laying right here do y'all know I had to buy another bone folder and then I bought it I started using it and it disappeared and so this is yet another bone folder I have at least three maybe four bone folders somewhere in this room that I haven't found in a while so it's probably inside a box or a Ziploc baggie. I found one thing the other day. It was kind of tucked with some papers. I think it was scissors. I found another pair of scissors that way. And there was something else that I was missing that I found. I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. All right, so I'm just going to trim this white area off. I could actually leave this one, so I'm going to do that. And then I don't have to have as many strips. All right, so I want this to be my pocket. So I'm going to glue down this side here a little strip. All right. 
All right. Between state accents, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, your your accent's so different from ours, you know. I love listening to different accents. When we were on the cruise, you know, we have people from all over the world that sign up to work on the cruise ship. So you get all their different accents and it's kind of cool to listen to them. Some of them are difficult to understand because they're still working on their English. But I think it's amazing that, hey, they can speak other languages and English. You know, that's pretty amazing. All right. Trim this at an angle. Trim that at an angle. Okay. All right. So dry that. And fold the edges in. You don't want to fold them too soon. They'll get glued down. I've done that a few times in the past. Just make sure you keep checking it so it doesn't get adhered all the way down. All right, so we've got this portion. I'm gonna go around the edge real fast with some Distress Ink, okay? Pronounce book. Because <laughs> it's right, now. yeah, I've, I've got a spot that it does go in over here and it's better if it's off the desk. It's just like I have my um, distress brushes in a little jar that I move back and forth. I'm still working on it. My space technically really isn't that big. That's right here. So I'm still trying to rearrange and get different types of containers. I'm going ahead and I'm going to put some tape across this so that it's smooth. So I'm going to get some packing tape. That's way more than I need, so I gotta cut it. I just turned around to look at my dog who's laying behind me here. I had put a blanket down in his little bed and he was not quite under it before the live stream started. I don't know if I can do this. Let's see if I can, oops. All right, I'm gonna try it, don't get sick. All right, let's do, um, what is this, face zoom. All right, are you ready? Can you see me? All right, now I'm going to point you down. Oh, can you see Hercules? All right, there he is. Can you see Hercules? Ah, come on. He's under a blanket like he's in bed asleep. <laughs> oh, did y'all see my shirt? It says August is my birthday month. Yes, the whole month. I don't know why I can't get my angle right but <laughs> all right we there all right it's bigger than your space julie yeah you know you kind of get to you get used to what you have right okay so that's there so nothing will catch on that ribbon and it'll stay in place and then we're going to glue this on top here. I need to trim right there. Put this back just a little bit. All right, let's glue this down so that can be drying because I need to hurry and finish decorating this. And I haven't figured out what we're going to put in the pocket, so we may just end without me putting anything in it during this live stream. Maybe what I'll do is fiddle with it and come up with an idea. All right, so we're just going to glue that right in the middle. And I, my packing tape comes out a little far, but I think we'll be okay. All right, so this piece I thought could go down here. Inspire kind? I don't know. Is that what we want to do? could change that. No, I think I like this bright color. 
and I think I want to make this a tuck spot that we could put stuff behind there. All right. Oh, he is a spoiled little brat. Oh, and he is pooped outside, Robin. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, in fact, he did today twice for me. I took Henry took him out this morning, and he pooped for Henry, and then. A little bit later, right before the live stream, I took him out again, and he pooped outside. So, apparently, Hercules has decided that while we were gone, he was going to poop in the house. He refused to poop outside. He isn't supposed to do anything wrong. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's like a little angelic that I'm home. <laughs> Silly little dog. He is out. I think it was just so stressful for him. Uh, when we got home, our they hadn't eaten their breakfast. I mean, it was late. It was like five something, and they hadn't eaten their breakfast yet. Well, about oh an hour after we got home, Oreo went and ate Hercules's food, and then started to go towards his bowl and eat his own food. And I stopped him. <laughs> 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 all right i think i like that and i know we're out of time so let's um let's do the last raffle and if i get inspired while we're chatting and going through the journal i'll grab one more card or something oh i do have well that's too big though this one might be better Maybe we need something skinny. I saw a tag. Here we go. And that works better, doesn't it? And then we still have this area that we could tuck something in. What happens when you put things away? Okay, that won't fit in there. What else do I have? This is a uh, little envelope from the Enchanted Rose Kit. So I think we'll do that because it fits right in there. Okay, got it. We got something. Yeah. Ran out of gravy. You wouldn't eat the food because there wasn't no gravy. Henry always put gravy on the dog's food. All right, let me scoot all this back out of the way. So it's not distracting you so much, you know. <laughs> no distractions here. Let's get rid of this stuff. It's time to clean the desk off yet again. Okay. Close this up. All right. How's that? How's that? We get it. We got it cleaned up a little bit, so you can't really see all the garbage on my desk. You know what I haven't done yet is I haven't stamped made by, so I'll get a piece of paper that we can use to stamp upon. How about this? I've got a little piece of scrapbook paper, and this says, this journal made by, so I'm going to put it like this, I think. There we go. This journal made by. And I have a pen so I can sign it in here and put the date, which is 8 22 I didn't even re realize that. 8 22 And let's add some distress inks and we'll glue this in this journal here somewhere. Okay. Let's give away these two little journal. Chunky Joe, toss you a small win. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> all righty. I thank you all for being here today. I greatly appreciate you hanging out with me and just 
being a part of my little life while I work on junk journals and do things that I love. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. All right, let's pick a winner. And that winner is Janice. Congratulations, Janice. You'll get these two little journal folios, I guess you want to call it. All right, so we had enough donations for the accordion journal today. So we've got one um, mixed media accordion fold journal open. All right, so only those who have donated, Naomi, Sherry, Naomi again, Thank you, Naomi. She donated $22 total. Janice Cricket. Margie donated $30. Thank you so much, Margie. Uh, Morgan and Robin and Nadine. Y'all donated, so y'all get in there. Oh, thank you so much, Sheila. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So here's what we've got. We have a 10 side accordion fold journal. And I decided just to kind of make it a little bit smaller than the last journal I made because of the time it takes. So here's what I did. I had book pages that I turned into a base for an accordion fold journal that was eight and a half inches tall, six and a half inches wide. We made some mixed media papers a couple of weeks back. I cut some of those up and made the base covered with all of those mixed media pages. So here on the front, we have a little tuck spot. This is an image out of a book. This is one of Norella's images. This is a rubber stamp and it's called 187. And I use watercolor paper and watercolor pencils to get the color. This is a watercolor block on watercolor paper and then stamped on top of it. This is some fancy Italian paper that was given to me years ago by a lady who was making a bunch of wedding invitations and had all these pieces left over. So you're getting a little scrap there. This is a little thin cardstock. A bird is never afraid of the branch breaking. She trusts not in the branch, but in her own wings. So that's just something I made a while back. And this is like a little tear off notepad. And I just thought it fit. So it's a thin piece of paper. You could back it with another piece if you like it thicker. Uh, this is from the Journal Quartet Small, I think it is. Um, you just do Journal Quartet and you'll find it. And then some cheesecloth that I already had in my stash. And so then we flip this. Oh, and some bling. There's some bling on here. I didn't put a lot of bling in this one, but there's some bling. And you can kind of see the thickness of it. It isn't too, too chunky. We flip this over and we've got a large pocket that's from the Apothecary Garden. It was just in here in my stash and I made a little large journal card this is some scrap uh, card stock two-sided different colors and then I used some book pages painted papers and another one of the watercolor square rectangles in there and I think what I'll do I'm gonna look at this real fast do I want to put it there or do we want to put it back here I think I'll put it here this is the journal made by little piece of paper. So I'm going to glue that down real fast and then go back to the inside cover. All right. Go back over here. This goes here. Okay. Over here we made a pocket out of the strips that I had a video on a couple of weeks ago. And then I just had a piece of cardstock that I stamped, used a scrap of paper that I had on my desk. This is a little scrapbook folio that you can have all this writing space. And I just like the different colors in there. Okay. Good luck donators. And then over here, this was one of those Tim Holtz little um, pieces that he had. This is one of Norella's and I made a scrapbook little bitty piece of writing. And then here's a little tag made from a garment. And then kind people are my kind of people. This is a rubber stamp that's on top of one of my mixed media gel prints. And I just like the way that looked. And then these were some journal cards. This was a Rolodex card and I used one of Norella's strips of music paper on the top. I should have put book page across the back, but you know, hindsight. And there's room that you can write on those little tabs if you so choose. 
All right, and then over here, we got another little pocket, so I'll just pull everything out. I have a little envelope that I decorated. It had been stamped. You can probably see the information if you look from the back side right here. But I just stamped it, another of that 187. Another piece of scrapbook paper, one of Norella's images from, uh, uh, it start, uh, Beautiful blooms, beautiful, something like that. I can't remember the name of it all of a sudden. Oh, I'm seeing what happened. I was catching on that book page. Put a little bit of glue there. Okay. Now, when I put that in, and then this is speak kind words and receive kind echoes. I didn't color this, so whoever gets this can color that themselves. I thought that's kind of a nice little touch. So that's the end of the first side of the journal. And then we get to the back cover. On the back cover, we have a tag and then we have a little envelope and it's been stamped with the Bella Rose. It's on some watercolor paper. So that goes there. This one goes here. And then in here, we have the henna rose on some scrapbook paper, some cheesecloth, one of Tim Holt's little uh, collage elements. That's the henna rose again. Here I have some of Norella's digital papers that I glued to a book page, and then I used some mop-up papers to make pages. So that can go in here. And then this flips over and we made a pocket. Actually, this was something that I started a while back. So this is one of Norella's images that I used to make a pocket. And then this flips over and then we have a little journal card that went inside here. So it's just plain on the back. Of course, now I can't get it to go back together. There we go. And then this tucks in to keep that flap. I added a journal card on top. So it kind of fits in there and then this piece slides out so you have a little journaling card there now you could also if you wanted to put paper over this that you could write on so that's another option if you want okay oh i gotta put the card back i can't do everything <laughs> All right, so that went there and here was a mixed media journal card that I made before the live stream, but same concept of stamping. This is one of my pages where I was cleaning off my tools on a piece of painted paper. Put that back here. All right. You like it. Thank you so much, Sheila. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now over here, this was a mixed media paint paper in the background then I stamps one of those tear off notepads. This is the from the journal quartet. And then this was one of Norella's images here. And I just kind of glued those all on a strip that made a belly band. And this was a card that I stamped with the romantic swirl and the flourish. And this is some textured scrapbook paper that I had, one of Norella's images. And then that's a mixed media painted page. There's nothing on the back. And this goes right here in the belly band. And then we have a little tab and this flips open. This is magnetic closure. Another one of the watercolor images with the birds and choose joy. And then I made a little journal card by gluing two pieces of text weight paper together. Another one of the watercolor rectangles and follow your soul. And then I used one of the mixed media pages that I made into a digital and glued that to the back side. Another one of the watercolor rectangles. That goes here. We're almost done. I know I'm running late today. Had so much to talk about. And then we flip this over. This is one I made a while back. So it's a book page. I have put a magnet in here and a magnet in the fabric. And this opens up and then there's a piece of paper that's glued down to help hold the fabric in place and to help house the magnet in here. Stamped it with the comb flower stamp. I didn't put any sentiment, we got bloom. And then this is one of the Tim Holtz uh, die cut pieces. Over here, this is a paper sack that I trimmed. I have a tutorial on making a paper sack 
envelope pocket. And instead of closing it as an envelope all the way, I left it so it could be opened up and you have the writing space inside here and a little tag to help keep it closed. And then this was a journal card I made in a tutorial that I showed you about the strips. And then we come back to the front and we're done and we can tie it shut with the grow grain ribbon. Goss grain, goss grain. I don't know. We all have our ways of saying it. You can go eat. I will be winning it, Margie says. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Morgan. Centipedes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of pockets. Pockets to put your precious, precious, precious in. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for being here. Make sure you got into the raffle. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people in the raffle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think everybody's in. All right, you ready to see who's going to win? Dun, da, 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 da. I don't know why I'm doing that one. <laughs> the winner is Robin Tennessee. You won. How funny because she won. What was it that I was giving away? Oh, the uh, subscription box. I need to message that person that won so they can uh, tell me which one they would like. So congratulations, Robin. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this. Thank you so very much. Wee, Robin. Oh, Robin says pick again. Robin, you're so, oh my goodness. Thank you. All right, we're going to pick again. Guess what? No, pick again, she says. Pick again. She's yelling at me. Oh my goodness. All right. The winner is, da, 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 da. you get another chance. Morgan, congratulations. You won the accordion folded journal. <laughs> well, Robin, thank you for your donation. Thank you for giving back the journal so that I can give it to someone else. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed today. I have no idea what we'll do next week. Um, I got to go work for the shop. So it depends on how much time I get in the evenings to work in the craft room because we're going to be working really hard to catch up for being gone on vacation. I do have some tutorials that I need to edit that's going to be about the Bridal Farms journal kit. Woohoo, Morgan. So I've got a few more uh, journal page tutorials that I need to edit and I've got a couple more I need to make so I can finish that journal. I also have a tutorial on using foil and stencils and some Deco Arts transfer gel that a tutorial that I have to edit. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So if there's something you want to see, I do have it in the lineup to work on the, I think it's the Bluebells kit. I was asked to use that. I think that was uh, Barb Dingwell that asked that. So I did print that kit. I just need to fussy cut and everything. Okay, I will. I'll put it with this, with it all together for you. You're welcome. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. And the other journal. I know I'm behind. I've got to make your stamps, Morgan. So that's going to be done this week. Hopefully we'll have them ready by Thursday. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. Um, gel printing, Julie says, pull a, I'll put in. A... Okay. Thank you. Uh, what else? All right, everybody. Well, we're going to get off here and I thank each and every one of you for being here. Julie wants me to do some more gel printing. It's been a while since I've done that. Um, so maybe that's something that I can put together for y'all to see some ideas of gel printing. And again, if you have any other project that you want to see, let me know. Um, thank you so much. Love all of you. Ah, uh, yay! I'm so glad he's he's in his program. Well, y'all have an amazing rest of the week, and I hope to see you around on Facebook. If you make something inspired by me, I'd love for you to tag me. I like to see those things. I'll be working on uh, answering some messages this week uh, now that I'm back from vacation. All right, y'all have an amazing week. Lots of love to each and every one of you. Bye, everybody!